here's our enormous troll and as you can see she has some new clothes that I made last night out of felt and they went pretty well. I'm quite amazed. Everything has to tie on though with her. I don't even know if I can get over there or not. Oh god my body. Oh no I can't go in front of it. I do not want to be in this. I do not want to be in this except my hands. So you see that skirt, it's a little circle and let me turn it around if I can. It's tied on. And it comes off easily. Now that I got the idea from this. Oh my god. This came with the troll. As you can see, it's the same thing, it ties on. It had little patches all over it. A uh, little sort of plaid with raw edges. You know, kind of yuck. So I thought, I was almost going to throw it out, and I thought, wait a minute, maybe I can work on this. So that's what I did. That's not staying on very good. The ties have been cut off almost completely, and I really don't know why anyone would do that. It should have been able to tie in a bow, and there's about an inch of tie on each side. Now look at that. That's not bad. I'm going to see if that's in the free. Ah! And that's in the frame. I am flailing around today. Ow. She looks pretty good. Now I just sort of knocked that together. Two pieces of felt, or no, one piece of felt. The other one's felt. Um, it's not too bad. Sorry about the yelling. I just, oh god, I hurt my foot. Now another thing I've discovered with these circle, circle, um, Skirts, you can make a like a poncho out of them. See that a cape, which is kind of nice. Or you can do it the other way. But she looks good. Uh, I'm gonna try it the other way again. That's all she has for clothing right now. She's so big. I woke up this morning and it almost scared me to see a troll that size. The top is coming off. The ties are not very practical because they just keep coming loose. And it goes all in the hair. Well, I can't make it even go, I can't see it. But that's a cute job and you don't need to worry about, you know, things like armholes. She's got the greatest hair. Her hair is fabulous. It's thick, it's soft, it's shiny. It's a, it's a troll shampoo commercial, it really is. This felt came from, I should get it out, it's a piece of felt that I bought years ago for a Caitlin school project. And it's got skulls, roses, it's got really kind of goth looking things on it, but it made a really nice pattern. And it's a feltish material that doesn't ravel, which I really like. I'm having to tie this, I can't see a thing. But you see, I'm going to show her tummy a little bit, which I like. And then you take the solid color one and you make, you know, it's like a cape. And that makes her a very polished, well-dressed troll. I'm trying desperately to stay out of the frame. I do not want to be in this one, except my ugly hands. Um, she's very nice. I wanted to call her Tamsin. I've always liked the name Tamsin. It reminds me of it like a tropical fruit or something. Tamarind. Uh, I can't call her tamarind. Or like a damson plum. So she's tamson. She is huge. You see, I'm used to trolls about that size. I have a few that are bigger. You see these guys? They're bigger. This troll, these trolls have enormous heads and enormous hands. and the Proportions are really different. Now there are a couple of problems with this troll. The way it was manufactured, it has some blisters under the arms. I've read that plastic can break down and uh, dolls can actually start falling apart or getting all icky and slimy. So I hope that doesn't happen. There's also ink on the feet. I'm going to try to get that off too. But yeah, I think she looks nice. With her cape. Like she's going to go somewhere fancy. Yeah, 
I'm just getting to know her. The other trolls are going, what the heck is going on here? Oh, I don't know. Who's this giant? But, you know, my trolls are very tolerant. They love other trolls. They really do. They're good at acceptance and all that stuff. So, in, in the fullness of time, I think they'll accept Tamsin. <laughs>